Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of A Beautiful Star, a Japanese film from 2017 that was directed by Daihachi Yoshida, who has had a very impressive resume of films. He directed Funuke Show Me Some Love, You Losers from 2007 and Pale Moon from 2014, two very good films that I previously reviewed on this channel. He also directed The Kirishima Thing from 2012, which was really good. So A Beautiful Star was on my radar because of this director and his involvement. Now this film portrays a family who come to believe that they are actually from other planets. They're actually aliens in human body form. So the father is a TV weatherman played by Lily Frankly, and he's apparently from Mars originally. The daughter, played by Ai Hashimoto, is from Venus, and the son, played by Kazuya Kamenashi, is from Mercury. The mom, who's played by Tomoko Nakajima, is the only person from Earth. So, kind of a weird premise here, right? The opening half hour introduces our characters really one at a time. This is a movie that relies heavily on various interactions between each of the family members and other side characters. So like the father debates global warming on TV and with some of the people he's working at at the, at the station, uh, the TV station. The son interacts with a politician. The daughter interacts with like a guitar player. The mom sells bottled water for a multi-level marketing company. Stuff like that. They do not actually have a lot of interaction together as a family unit, which is kind of an odd way of approaching a film that's about a family unit, right? So this, this film is very, very unorthodox. I liked it, though, because uh, there are some creative and oddball moments that are open to some interpretation as well that come through. I found it pretty interesting. This is not a normal movie, I guess you could say. It's quirky, but it's also grounded in reality at the same time. Like, our protagonists act like human beings. I mean, they're a little odd. <laughs> they're a little odd. But they act like human beings most of the time, probably because most of them have completely forgotten their history on alien planets. So you basically have these humans who are gradually like coming to terms with the fact that they are aliens. This is a very unique concept, and it creates a feeling of like rootlessness and confusion for them, which is you know pretty intriguing. In addition, as a viewer, you do wonder if these people are just crazy, you know, if they're just humans that have just lost their minds, and uh, <laughs> that does pop into your mind throughout, and that also makes you think a little bit, which is a good thing. Hard to predict where this film is going, that's for sure, even right from the start. The themes of the film are not common for a family drama. You got space exploration that's touched upon, astronomy, and a lot of climate change. Is There's a lot of climate change I guess, discussion in this film that adds another dynamic that's quite weird in terms of content. Performances and direction are solid, gives the premise a certain legitimacy and seriousness that I was not expecting. Um, there are some intriguing discussions, as I said, involving like global warming and environmentalism throughout the film. Some people have classified this as a black comedy, but I don't know, I didn't really see that. I saw it more as like a weird drama with some bits of dry humor that are peppered throughout. I think this is a good film by Yoshida, but for some reason, I did not find it to be as purely entertaining as the titles that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And I try to pinpoint exactly why I had that reaction, and I think it might be because the individual stories here lacked satisfying payoffs, at least some of them did. So for example, the subplot involving the mother who sells bottles of water maybe only occupies like five minutes of screen time. Or at least it felt that way. They did not really focus on that particular subplot much. And it just kind of ended abruptly. And not, not a particularly satisfying or interesting resolution to me of that little storyline. Some of the other subplots have the same problem. So this film lacked a certain momentum because the script felt like it kept picking things up and then putting them down and moving on to something else. and You know what I mean? It had that type of an effect. It is interesting enough to be moderately entertaining, though, but it does lack, like, the punch or the, uh, I guess I would say just, like I said, pure entertainment value of Yoshida's prior movies, in my opinion. 
But in any case, A Beautiful Star is a good movie. I recommend it if you're in the mood for a weird drama that touches upon environmentalism, if you're in the mood for a film like that. It is currently available on Region 3 DVD with subtitles. And as always, I'll see you next time.